Hey guys, so today I've got something that I am super excited about. Inside this box is another box, and inside that box is a brand new motherboard from Gigabyte. It's a Socket AM3 Plus motherboard, which is really weird because that's pretty much an antique now. Um, it's about five or six years old. I think AM3 Plus was released in 2011. So we're going to open this up and look inside. And as you see, uh, Newegg even put that go ahead and review me on there, even though I I uh, bought this. So yeah, let's get started. So um, yeah, this is our first ever unboxing and our first motherboard review. So stick with us and tell me what you think. Uh, Jeff gave me his cool little uh, battering knife here to cut it open with. And here we go. We're going to cut open the new egg box and check out the Gigabyte motherboard. Wow, this thing's actually sharp. So, um, I'm not sure how this is going to sound with the uh, lapel mic on here. So yeah, uh, I always love it when there's a new egg box on my porch because awesome things come with new egg. Here's some very lightly filled air package things. Throw that out of the way. Customer ID, you don't need that. Ah, and this is what we're looking for. So, don't need that either. Yeah, so this is what the front of the box looks like. As you can see, there's no uh, award logos or anything like that, like Gigabyte really likes to stick on their boxes. This is actually a pretty clean looking box. And that is because this is a Revision 1 motherboard. Um, it's a brand new motherboard. So yeah, if we turn it around, look at the back, you can see they're promoting the USB 3.1 uh, versus 3.0. It has an M.2 port, which is a PCI Express second generation 4X uh, slot. So that's, that's really cool um, in a new board. And let's go ahead and open it up. There's no tape on this. Uh, so we're just going to open it up, as you can see. I'll turn it around for you there. Um, it's in an anti-static bag. It's got like a little tray here. So we'll go ahead and pull this tray out and see what came with it. It's got a black SLI bridge. It's got, um, looks like, yeah, there's two clear or silver clear SATA cables. There's actually four of those. There's a gigabyte multilingual installation guide. I don't need that. Um, we've got the IO panel here, which has, oh, okay. It's black with pink writing and um, some yellow type on there as well, which is interesting. And it's got, uh, it's got another little header thing. We'll figure out what that is. That's uh, a G connector. Not sure exactly what that is, but it's something for um, headers on your motherboard. So they've got the manual here. There is a uh, installation CD, which we don't need that. And oh, there's a sticker. It's a G1 gaming sticker. If you want a round sticker for your computer, and there might be. Uh, Absolutely nothing else in here. So yeah, there's the uh, manual. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the motherboard itself. So we don't need that. And we'll figure out how to open this anti-static bag. There is one piece of scotch tape holding it closed. And there we go. This is the Gigabyte GA990FX gaming motherboard. So as you can see, it's a, uh, it actually looks a little Spartan without all those PCI Express slots like you're really used to. And that's because of this little tiny M.2 connector, which is a uh, 22 by 80 connector. So it goes all the way up to 80. As you can see, there is a, um, a little screw included with the M.2 connector, which is really nice. It has six SATA 3, uh, six gigabit per second connectors and it has three 16x uh, slots. One of those, the last one is an 8x electrical, and there are three PCI Express 1x slots. Um, as we look over the uh, motherboard here, the, the south bridge, the, the north bridge, it's got heat piping that goes between all of it. Um, the, the actual uh, heat spreaders are black uh, with kind of a brushed aluminum look there. Um, so on the back I.O. panel here, we have a PS2 port, which is, uh, which is both purple and green for either a mouse or a keyboard, depending on if you even have any PS2 peripherals still around. These yellow USB ports here are USB 2.0, and they're advertised as having um, clean power for an audio DAC for you audio files out there. Although 
Gigabyte did include some extra audio stuff that we'll talk about here in a minute. Um, there's two more USB 2.0 ports, a USB Type-C 3.1 connector right here, a USB Type-A 3.1 connector, two USB 3.0 ports, a killer LAN port right here with um, indicator lights on it, and two more USB 2.0 ports, and of course your audio array here, which actually has the optical audio included in the, uh, the normally six-plug thingamabobber there. So um, if we turn this over, there's actually some dip switches here for the uh, onboard audio. And that's interesting because this little tiny thing right here, we'll uh, throw in some B-roll here so you can see it better, but this little tiny thing right here is the uh, interchangeable op amp. It comes with a Texas Instruments, uh, I think Burr Brown audio, and you can actually pull this out and change it out with a few other different types of op amps for the onboard audio. So that's kind of interesting, something Gigabyte is doing. I'm not sure how it sounds. Of course, I haven't had a chance to check it out. So as you look here, it's got that black and black and red color scheme going. It really looks quite nice. It's got these silver um, PCI Express shields. Uh, as you look down at the bottom here, the headers have a serial port header. If Anybody still uses serial port? Um, it does have a front audio header here, and that works with uh, both of the main audio profiles. It has uh, front USB 3, front USB 2, front USB 1. So it actually has three USB 2.0 front headers. It has one USB 3.0 front header and a TPM port, as well as all of your front headers for your case uh, connectors. Uh, moving up here, you have one CPU 4-pin PWM connector, one 4-pin system fan connector, a power fan, and a second system fan um, connector, which is another 3-pin. Gigabyte likes to do that for some reason. They'll give you one uh, PWM and one regular 3-pin. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Uh, up here at the top, we have a power switch. So this is actually pretty cool. I like power switches on motherboards. Um, I, I don't know why, but they're really cool. And it has a little um, readout here, which I think think shows you the CPU multiplier, but I'm really not sure. We'll have to look into that a little bit more. It has a CMOS switch and a reset switch. And um, you have your standard 24 pin connector here and an eight pin connector for motherboard power over here. So I think that pretty much covers the overview of the Gigabyte GA990FX. Uh, Jeff was actually going to join me for this video, but he had some kind of flu or crud or something like that. So uh, you guys won't get to meet him quite yet. But um, yeah, one more thing I did neglect to mention. Both of these PCI Express 16X ports are true 16X, and they can both run at the same time. It is second generation PCI Express because it is... AMD and they haven't released Zen yet and yeah it's kind of sad but um, both of these are 16x so you can run two cards either in NVIDIA SLI or AMD Crossfire both of them are supported one interesting thing about the M.2 port is actually that it can run either as SATA or PCI Express 4x um, so when I was reading through the manual you actually can use the SATA drive rated in with all of your other SATA ports so I thought that was kind of interesting if you bought the same kind of M.2 as you have standard two and a half inch SATA connectors and that's our overview of this board if you like this video in this format then leave us a like and let us know in the comments if you didn't like it then leave us a dislike and uh, let us know in the comments and if you want to see more videos like this uh, then hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching i'm chris and this is xk tech reviews